folks, how are we doing? Right, so for today's video, we're going to be doing a bit of plotting and planning down here on the allotment. Uh, like some sort of 1980s school teacher, we've got a good old clipboard, some plain paper, a tape measure and a sharpie. So what we're going to do is we're going to start measuring up everything on the plot, seeing where the beds are, how big they are, and make a sort of rough diagram of them. Then when we get back home, we've got some proper sort of paper that we laid out in. Or we're going to try and use one of the, the free online apps as well and we'll, we'll maybe do a bit of a bit of a re review of that i've played about with some of them some are better than others some are a bit rubbish and a bit a bit awkward to use but we'll see we'll see what's what but i'll take you through the process of what we're going to do on the plot today with measuring up all the different areas and making a bit of a plan about what we're going to grow and when and we'll see how things go right back with you in a second there so here we are right at the very top of the plot this is just as you come through the gate on the right hand side there's not much happened with this over the first day that we've had the plot. This bit here that the, the black cover's on, that's where we grew the pumpkins. We had some success with them. Other than that, this area has just been left to its own own devices. Uh, there's some raspberry canes that were here on the plot when we when we took it over. What I might do is build a fruit cage here. So when I was looking at timber this morning, we get the two by two treated timber that's ideal for building a fruit cage. Uh, it comes in lengths of 2.4 meters, so to save us doing any any complicated cuts or anything like that, we'll try and make it 2.4 meters squared. So what I'll have to do is we're going to move those raspberry canes over there. I'm going to cut them right down, and we're going to move them in just off the fence a little bit, so we can build the cage in behind it. We've got the compost bin over here that's absolutely rammed full and really heavy, so we don't want to be moving that anywhere. So luckily, from the fence at the back up to about sort of 50 centimeters before you get to the compost bin that's 2.4 meters there we'll come 2.4 meters this way now there is some raspberry canes here that they're, they're about three meters out so they won't make it so we'll have to cut them down and we'll move them inside the fruit cage and what we'll do here we then we've then got a bit of a gap before we get to the path that i'm standing on you probably can't see it on the video but we're standing on one of the paths that we've built so that gives us actually a nice gap if we put the some pallet collars in and if we put them lengthways so they're 80 centimeters wide and about one or 1.2 meters long i reckon we'll get three of them in there and we'll have three nice raised beds right in next to the fruit cage and we've just bought some blueberry bushes so we've got three blueberry bushes that again we'll plant inside the fruit cage so they, they need to be planted in a special way, a special type, type of compost. Um, I'll, I'll come to that in a different video. But given that these these plants and crops and things aren't really at risk from birds, birds love to come and eat the fruit. So building the fruit cage is a, is a project for, for a few months down the line. It's not something that needs to be done straight away. We don't need to worry about that just now. The main thing for now is going to be cutting these raspberry canes down to the ground, maybe it's just an inch or two above, and getting them moved into the new position whilst they're dormant, whilst they're not grown, whilst everything's a bit cold and frosty. So we've measured this up, we'll put that down in our diagram, and again, like I say, we'll take it home, and we'll make a bit of a proper plan on that. Back with you in a second there. So, so far, we've been all the way down this one side of the plot, and we've measured up. Um, I'll try and, try and show you what we've got there, I'll zoom in a little bit. So I've measured all the beds out, and sort of labelled up, that was nice of the wind to blow that over there, um, and labelled up what the different things are. It's a bit it's a bit rough and ready, but again, that's just because we're doing it here. We'll make it look a bit nicer and a bit bit more of a plan once we get home and we can sort of lay it out properly. Um you'll see you'll see that I wasn't doing it very well. Uh I drew things a bit big to begin with and then everything started getting more and more squashed in down the bottom. So it's 100 percent not to scale. We're gonna move on to the other side of the plot now and, and come down this bit this is going to take a little bit more time to get everything measured up because we've got all the pallet collar raised beds down there and we've got the shed and we're going to have the wee sort of paved area and things up here um and we're going to sh shuffle things about the strawberries and things are going to move up in the in the peas and whatnot and the compost is all going to get changed around on this side okay so that's both sides of the plot measured up uh albeit a little bit rough and ready We've got all the measurements that we need though to start making a plan for 2021 and what we're going to put where and what we're going to do where around and about. So, if I bring this a little bit closer, hopefully you can see it. It does look like a little bit of a mess. The red that I've put on there just helps you see where the paths are. Um, if I remember, I'll take a photo of this 
and I'll post it into the video if I can figure out how to do that and it maybe just makes it a little bit easier to see but we'll join this video up to the bit of work that we're going to do at home and making a bit of a, a plan for the plot but this this is maybe taking me I don't know 45 minutes maybe it's an hour to get all this measured up and what a worthwhile job absolutely well worth just spending a quick hour doing this we've got me everything measured up we know where everything is we know that down in the bottom right hand corner all the way down there we've got a, a space it's about four meters by 4.6 meters squared and we have absolutely no plans for it whatsoever so we've got a bit of a blank canvas down there which is great so we can start plotting and planning around that what we can also do is now that we know where the beds are is i can get all the seeds out and we can see what seeds need to be sown when and we can start thinking about succession planning so if we're going to grow say potatoes in these two beds here if we've got some early potatoes and we get them you know we, we, we pull them out sort of june july sort of time after that what can i have grown and what can i put in there hopefully that lets us use the ground a lot more efficiently and lets us grow a lot more and extends that growing season we've also got the uh, the infamous polytunnel project uh, planned up the top here we had thought about getting a 10 by 15 foot polytunnel but when i've measured up i think 15 foot is probably going to bring us just beyond the central path so we need to have a think about whether we're going to use the full 15 feet for the polytunnel and maybe see something funky with a path up at the top end there or whether we're going to reduce the poly polytunnel back to say a 12 foot one and just have the path going straight right to the end of the plot luckily that area i talked about before where we haven't got anything in it or anything planned that's opposite where the polytunnel is going to be so we've got a bit of space to work with down there and, and some sort of things that we can do um as well and in the in the area over here that was good to get this bit measured up because it's a bit it's a bit wonky over here with the the sort of palette color compost bin thing we've got over there we've got this p frame that we just chucked up randomly with stuff we found in the shed hopefully get this area all ramped uh, revamped and get it made so we've got a few rows for some peas and some beans maybe it's even one of those funky tp things that you make out of canes and, and grow the peas of that that'll be absolutely great to have that done so yeah starting to get the ideas going starting to think about what we're going to grow where and when but i'll follow this up say so i'll follow this one up with another video showing you a bit more how we've put this down properly and how we're going to plan it properly show you how i'm going to sort the seeds out and have a think about what we're going to sow where and when right that's about it for today folks um as always if you wouldn't mind giving the video a like give it the thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to the channel and see how we get on throughout the year all the different things we're getting up to that would be great we're on 95 subscribers at the time of filming if we get 100 i can post photographs on youtube youtube allow us to do that when we get 100 so if we can bag another five subscribers that would be absolutely brilliant because then i can start boring you with photos as well as videos right thanks very much for watching we'll speak to you again soon folks bye for now